Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles. Last time we placed this rock removal thing, and uh, yeah, it seems like we're actually starting to remove some rocks now because these guys are, are chilling at this place. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, uh, but hopefully, hopefully we can start getting these rocks taken out because that would be super cool. And we can, like, densify our main city area. Uh, we also started building some homes outside of our main keep area. Uh, so that's going to be very interesting to see if we can uh, keep them defended. Get it? Keep? I'm hilarious. You guys just don't know it. Uh, so fi hopefully, fingers crossed, once these, um, or once people visit and they could find homes to live in, uh, we'll get a lot of idle people and we can then focus on turning some things back on. Maybe get some more charcoal makers going, which would be really cool. Uh, do we have a charcoal maker in the city? Yeah, we do. That's cool. Only eight found new homes. That's fantastic. We've now got three idle people. Awesome. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a brand new charcoal maker over in this corner. Uh, we just need to get some more charcoal because we're running out now that we've got more homes. Uh, charcoal seems to be one of those resources that is kind of hard to balance. Also, you've got no food. Too far away or none available. So maybe we do have to focus on a little farming setup over here. Just a little one. Um, just to sort of tide us over. Uh, if we could find... That's perfect. I was going to say, if we could find like a 4x4 area. Too far away from our roads. Okay, that's fine, because I can build a road. Just like that. Okay, then food. Orchard. Not quite. Uh, so let's go there. Food. Orchard. Put that there. And then just put a granary, like, right next to it. I guess. Would make more sense to put it in an area like this, where there's... Uh, no, uh, grow or no land, which is, a uh, buildable, like, on there would make sense. Uh, let's go for, not an orchard, a small granary right there. They now can't get past there. Eh, they're not going to get past there anyway. <laughs> okay, that should be fine. Cool, actually, we've got a lot of, um, oh, hang on, have you got bread now? They do have bread. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. We're going to have a small um, granary here and a little orchard. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. From what I understand, the Vikings prioritize attacking stuff like granaries. Because it makes sense, right? If you want to weaken a town to take it over and steal their people, you want to get rid of their food. Why are you not, not got any food? Enjoys being near a church. Well, I'm, I'm fi fi I find it fantastic that you enjoy the church. Even these guys are included in the church radius. That's insane. How's that rock removal going? Okay, so it just takes a long time. Maybe the... Because the, that's the unusable stone. So maybe the, the smaller ones... Um, or the, like the iron or the just regular stone deposits. Maybe they take less time to like take out. If that makes sense. Um, how's our iron go? We've got iron. <laughs> but we don't have anything to like use with the iron uh, the main thing we need more of is charcoal again so perhaps we set up a little charcoal rig over here as well we don't want to put it too close to our houses though that's the thing or maybe we put it over here a little bit of charcoal in my life hmm let's have a couple of uh, charcoal makers over here uh, originally I was gonna put like a farm over here but there's not a lot of places uh, for farms to be put. So let's just have two charcoal makers there. Um, maybe a little defensive tower here as well. Just sort of set back a little bit. Yeah, that could be cool. Just to do some extra damage. Plus, from what I read on the beta notes last time, the uh, ogres, they prioritize attacking the archer towers. So maybe if they land here, they'll go straight for this archer tower and the other ones can focus on it. That's like right in the middle of two arch towers and two ballista as well. So maybe that's a good idea. Uh, let's also start building this wall back up because we never actually finished that. And now that we've got loads of, well, we did have loads of idle people. They're going to be busy building now. Uh, that should go fairly quickly. Okay, this granary is getting done. Oh, we don't have as many idle people anymore because of the, uh, because of the, the orchard here. But yeah, getting extra food for fertility is good. It's very good. I wonder what this will look like when we build it up one more stage. In fact, 
I'm going to do it because we want to build it up one more stage anyway. So I'm just going to place these ones because this is our main castle entrance. So it looks like it's just going to be this flat up until the top layer. And then it goes into like this design here where it's sort of inset a little bit before the walkway. It's kind of cool. Okay. Right. Let's take a look. See what else needs doing. Uh, our food is good ish. It's actually getting quite low. Uh, so maybe we focus on putting a few more farms over here. Might not be a bad shout. Uh, although then this area here is really good for like loads of orchards. Oh, we could put one, two, three, four, five, six. Six orchards. And only one of them would be just a fertile instead of very fertile. That would be pretty crazy. We could have this as like our farm island. I kind of like that idea. Is that a bad idea? I don't think it's a bad idea. Let's get rid of this. Is this unusable stone? It is. Let's put our rock removal crew here. Remove this rock and then we're going to have a walkway going over there. A bridge to say. Sweet. Uh, how's this rock removal going? Collected two out of ten. Okay, so it takes a while. Which is a shame, but oh well. Our charcoal. Yeah, it looks like guys are working in the charcoal makers. Zero out of two, not fully staffed. So we need more people, basically. <laughs> same old, same old. Uh, they have residents in there. That's fantastic. Let's, let's throw another festival. So that we can uh, get more people in. And quickly, too. We've got like 20 beds to fill. Which is pretty insane. I think I did what I said I wasn't going to do. And that's build up more stuff at once. Which was stupid. Good job, Dale. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Why do I always... Prior like, I am say I'm going to prioritize one thing. And then I do the complete opposite. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, good thing we have our iron mines still off. Because we really don't need them at this point. That's really weird how this one's covered in snow still. But... Snow well. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Happiness is 74. Everyone's pretty happy, not gonna lie. Uh, oh, there was something in the sky over there. Oh, it was an icon. Never mind. I've got a feeling we've got an imminent Viking or dragon attack. Oh, our burgeoning town is becoming a bustling city. Oh, because we got 250 residents. That's awesome. That's really good. 27 people visited, only 15 satisfactory. Uh, satisfactory. That's really cool. In fact, everything is getting built rather quickly now. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving it. This is awesome. I'm, I'm loving how this is turning out. Got the charcoal. Actually, the charcoal makers in front of the... Uh, in front... Oh. Oh, fire. Fire bad. The trees are burning down as well. Yeah, just as I was saying about this, the, the fire. The charcoal makers in front of the... Um, like, the pillars here look really cool. Kind of like they're, they're lighting it up, which is pretty neat. Um, we didn't get any, like, notification there about a forester being burnt down, which is kind of annoying, but doesn't matter, we'll just build another one. That one keeps burning, I'm not sure why, but it keeps burning. We could, in fact, put another one in here, which might be good. And this area isn't that well defended. I'm not sure how I'm going to defend it either, um, because I can't really put a wall around it. I could, but it would look a bit pants. Maybe I just have a couple of plagues. <laughs> Maybe I just have a couple of um, towers placed here and there, rather than walls. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a, a strategic value or not. It probably isn't going to be worth it, but we'll see. 45 idle people. They must have finished building. Must have finished building. Are they working on this? No. Oh, start removal. Cost 10... Oh, it costs 10 tools. Is that what it said? Collected for remove. Oh, that makes sense. That really does. Okay, so we really need to focus on getting a blacksmith in. Um, I'm almost tempted to destroy these two hovels to put the blacksmith there, but... Okay, where else could we put a blacksmith? Kind of can't set it in there because it's not big enough. Eee, okay. 
that really makes sense. Seven peasants died of plague. Could have been worse. I am the worst ruler. Eh, could have been worse. Okay. I've got a feeling I want to move this granary and have it face this way and then put a blacksmith there. It's got no food in it, so that's fine. <laughs> Let's grab the granary. Put the granary there. Grab a blacksmith and put the blacksmith there. And, dude, that's like right next to someone who's getting charcoal, so that's fine. Okay, that's going to be good. Uh, we also have a lot of idle people at the moment, so we could build our castle up a bit more. Which might not be a bad idea, because that looks super cool. I like how that looks. How much stone do we... We just run out of wood, never mind. <laughs> uh, maybe we focus on another forester? Put a forester, like, here. Don't have any wood to do it, but it doesn't matter. Insufficient resources. Okay, whatever. <laughs> and then put that in there as well. Cool. So that's that section of wall that will be complete. Really hope this blacksmith gets built soon. Okay, we're coming up to the end of the episode. No real um, threats happened today, which was fantastic. Our guys are sort of working really hard to make things happen, which is good. Charcoal is running super low, which is not good. I wish there was... I wish these guys wouldn't walk through the wall. Or maybe it's because it's in construction and they're the ones building it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, does it even say what tools are used for? That windmill is on fire. That's not good. That's really not good. Also, the fact that there's plague is not good either. Because we're at that point now where uh, we're getting a lot of people that get infected by plague. Dang it. And not a lot of people survive it. We, we really don't have enough stuff to uh, build the windmill back. I want all these plague icons to go away. <laughs> Please, let's speed time up a little bit. Okay, that guy's happy because he got rid of his plague. It's always good when you get rid of plague. Quite a few people are getting rid of it, but there's still some which are infected. We're not going to heal everyone, which sucks because we're going to lose people. Come on, 25. I've just got 24. One more to go. That's a hell of a lot of food. And then not prioritizing to put it away. That's really bizarre. Windmill 25, come on. Only three peasants died. Come on, that's not so bad. <laughs> um, let's put that back where it was. Put that thing back where it came from, also help me. Okay, right, we got another blacksmith going. Which is fantastic. Uh, produces, or ch consumes one charcoal, three iron, and makes two crates of tools. And they can put it in the stockpile, which is literally just over the road. That's fantastic. We might have to turn on our uh, iron maker again soon. I've got a feeling I want to put a forester in here. I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't have enough wood to do it, but that's what I'm going to do when I get the chance. How's this guy doing for food? Nothing. We're at the point now, and I see it happening, where our food is going below... Or our food is running dry, or... It's not hitting the limit. It's going down quicker than it's going up. We need to focus on... Oh, six peasants? Is that it? We need to focus on bringing that back up. So I think next time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start building a farming area. Fire has claimed a farm. Oh, well, we better demolish that and put it back in. Yeah, we need to start working on uh, a new farming area, and I think that's what I'm going to have here. I'm going to have one big central granary... <clears throat> Lots of orchards around the outside, around the outside, and then some farms in the middle with windmills wherever there's like a barren spot. We'll have one road coming in this way and another road coming in there. In fact, I can already build this road like this to start getting it ready. And hopefully this doesn't use too much wood. Fantastic. Town road over to here and then up to there. In fact, we could even put a tiny little forester in there as well. I mean, he'd still chop down the wood in this area, which is going to be fantastic. Ooh, ooh, can we put him in there? Adorable. Fantastic. They're going to start swimming over there to make that happen. And we can even put the bridge in here too. So now all we're waiting for is them to remove this rock. They're getting stone uh, tools now for the stone removal, which is fantastic. That's about to go too. Right, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Kingdoms and Castles. Uh, join me next time when we start working on our new farming area. I think it's going to be good. Like I said, one central granary. 
um, maybe another smaller granary, well we've got a smaller granary right there, so yeah, one central granary, we'll have it defended by a couple of archer towers, put some windmills in here as well, I think it's going to be good. Right, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you all in the next one, bye bye.